Hi everybody, uh, coldest day of the year so far. So as of four o'clock, and it looks like this will stand, the high temperature at the airport was 38 degrees. It's the first day we haven't made it up to 42. Uh, the low so far at the airport, 34, but that'll drop below freezing uh, during the evening hours. I want to point this out. This is a Futurecast map from KGW uh, TV that I put on my Facebook page. And see, all of this at 8 o'clock is uh, snow shower potential. And it's basically an area of showery activity that if you look on the satellite picture, you already see it starting to push from the east back west into the Portland area. Whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, <laughs> I think I, I caught that with my arm. Um, so anyway, the point is, if we see a snow shower this evening, uh, temperatures will be freezing. And there will be a decent chance that there could be enough punch of a snow shower to at least produce some light dustings at any and all locations. So um, we'll keep an eye on that. The, the biggest threat of getting a dusting of snow this evening would really be the fact that any melt on the roadways from that uh, would quickly turn to black ice as temperatures tonight go down into the um, low to mid 20. So don't forget tonight and then also Wednesday, that was Happy Valley this morning by the way, um, that was Kirkland up in Seattle. They had six to eight inches of snow. It was crazy up there. Um, and then I wanted to, I'm almost there. Yeah, I wanted to show you this picture. I thought this was the prettiest of all the live cameras. This is Gearheart by the Seas camera this morning. Look at all the snow. We had one to four inches from the Long Beach Peninsula, I believe, uh, all the way down into Lincoln City, and then a little sunrise color. That was just spectacularly beautiful. Okay, I want to get back to the snow chance that I'm looking at for this evening. And to do that, let's go to the satellite picture. And to do that, let's go to the infrared. And if you look carefully, you can see there's a little bit of this, all of this batch of moisture that is, let me get my drawing tool, that is trying to rotate back our way. So again, the biggest threat of that, the biggest problem, not that we would see a dusting of snow tonight, that wouldn't be that big a deal, but the fact that it would add moisture that could freeze into uh, black ice. All right, it still looks like we're mainly dry tomorrow, totally dry Wednesday. Thursday morning right now looks dry, but the timing and the amount of precipitation starting Thursday could change a lot. Right now, Thursday morning looks dry. After rain showers, Friday looks like it's rain showers during the day, snow level above 1,000 feet. But then Friday night, Saturday, we get back into air as cold as what we've had today. So that gets back into snow showers. Um, and will there be significant snow? Still too early to tell. We're watching that. But then they have at least night morning snow showers into Monday. So that's crazy. And right now, unfortunately, uh, look how cold it is up on the mountain, by the way. Timberline 18, Mount Hood Meadows uh, also 18. Let me uh, shrink this. He is at 25 degrees. Um, but none of this looks to be very impressive snow-wise. I have the biggest snow day Saturday up there at 46 inches. So that's a little disappointing. Don't forget, you get the Coast Range Passes. They had snow cover this morning, but they're looking okay now. But you get those Coast Range Passes on the Coast page. Of course, all the Mount Hood Cascade Passes on my Mount Hood Ski Forecast page. And also there's Gorge Travel Cameras on the Gorge page. All right. Have a good safe day on Tuesday. Bundle up. It's going to be chilly, especially in the morning. I'll talk to you soon.